historic trees there. They're actually made out of styrofoam and rubber. They're very lightweight. They can be moved around the set very easily. Uh, you also saw some fog effects as we went through. Fog is one of the many weather effects we use on the filmmaking in the filmmaking industry. And I happen to have America's favorite weatherman right here. Ladies and gentlemen, Al Roker. Hi everybody, here's today's forecast for the Universal Backlot. It's going to be sunny and dry in Six Points, Texas. Cool and cloudy in Middle Europe. Expect snow and sleet on New York Street. We just came from New York. And it was nice and sleet. Precipitation for Skull Island, Amity Island, and Island of God. That's your forecast for today. Now here's a look at what's going on in your neck of the lot. Okay, let's see what we hit. Flash flight warning? That... Yeah, I know they always say that Al Roker is right, but he said that there was snow and sleet in New York and there wasn't. So I don't think we need to worry about flash flooding, especially because California's in a 13-year drought. Uh, so it's pretty unlikely that'll happen. But when we are in a drought and we need to make rain uh, at Universal Studios, we can do it using some weather effects. Uh, usually they would use an overhead sprinkle system like the one you see now coming up. Above the tram there's a sprinkle system and it throws the water up into the air and allows it to fall back down to the ground naturally. Now, if we want that great big thick fat heavy rain that you find in New York or Seattle, then filmmakers add a small amount of powdered milk to the water so that it appears thicker on screen. Now, uh, don't, I guess that means uh, Gene Kelly was singing in the milk, yeah? Yeah? No? Don't worry, that joke only lands 2% uh, of the time. Again? No? Yeah, these milk jam tricks are terrible. Oh, guys, watch out! There's a flash flood on your left! Oh, oh wow, that got me. <laughs> well, folks, it looks like UCLA has found its way onto the Universal Backlot. Jennifer, the driver, got a little bit wet then. That doesn't usually happen, so uh, I guess we gave it a bit of an extra punch today, the uh, water effects. Now, at the top of the hill, there's two very large tanks that have thousands of gallons of water in them, and then we, the water rushes down the hill, it hits the side of the tram, and it erupts in the way that it did. Sometimes a little bit stronger than other times, Jennifer. Uh, don't worry folks, I know I said we're in a drought, we do recycle the water. We send it back up into the theme park so you have something to drink out of the water fountains. What? No, we don't do that. Not when we can sell you bottled water, am I right? Alright, everybody, get to...